Good morning and welcome to Kid News. I'm Tori. Today is Thursday, April 21st, 2022. And we begin with a new and rather unique honor for Taylor Swift. The singer-songwriter now has a new species of millipede named after her. The twisted claw Nanaria swiftae is found mainly in the Appalachian Mountains of the U.S. Three scientists at Virginia Tech worked for several years traveling to 17 states to collect nearly 2,000 millipedes and were able to identify 17 new ones. The lead author of the study, Derek Hennan, says he's a big fan of Taylor Swift and her music helped him get through the highs and lows of graduate school. So naming a new millipede species after her was his way of saying thanks. It should be noted he also named another species after his wife. All are described in a research paper published in the open access journal, Zookeys. Another major international competition is telling athletes from Russia and Belarus that they are not welcome. Wimbledon announced yesterday that players from those two countries are banned from this year's tournament, meaning the world number two men's player, Daniel Medvedev, and world number four women's player, Arena Sabalenka, will not take the court. It's the first time Wimbledon has barred individual athletes from specific countries since World War II, when players from Germany, Japan, and other nations were told to stay home. Wimbledon is set to begin in London on June 27th. When 11-year-old Andrei fled his home in Ukraine two months ago, he packed a small suitcase with only essential items, and that meant he had no choice but to leave his prized Lego collection behind. He ended up safely in Ireland with his father and younger brother. But his dad, Igor, noticed Andre felt lost without the building blocks, which have been his favorite toys since he was a toddler. So Igor made a plea on Facebook a few weeks ago, asking for any Lego, any size and color, in any quantity. And since then, dozens of packages filled with Legos have been pouring in. The family tells the Washington Post they are both stunned and touched by the overwhelming show of support and it's helped make a bad situation a little bit better. There's a whole lot of cheering going on right now in Orlando, Florida at the World Cheerleading Championships. Teams from more than 50 countries are taking part at the event that started yesterday and ends tomorrow with opening and closing ceremonies similar to the Olympics. There are junior and adult divisions in a variety of categories, including hip-hop, palm, and jazz. Teams and individuals are performing routines in front of a panel of judges who are looking at skills, moves, and style. This is the first in-person competition since 2019, when the U.S. national team took home a whopping 18 medals, and they remain the ones to beat after winning again in 2021, though last year was a virtual event. Scientists have created a fabric that can actually hear. The super-thin acoustic fiber works like a microphone. It picks up sounds, turns them into vibrations, and then electric signals. It was created by engineers at MIT, or the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, and researchers at Rhode Island School of Design, and can be woven into regular yarn so the listening fabric is very flexible and machine washable. How could it be used? If stitched into a shirt's lining, it could monitor a heartbeat. In a scarf, it could answer phone calls and communicate with others. It could be embedded into buildings to detect cracks or strains. It could even be woven into a smart net to monitor fish in the ocean. That's it for Kid News. Now the Kid News Quiz, generously sponsored today by the Crum Fam family of Washington, D.C., in honor of Maggie Pham's eighth birthday. Happy birthday, Maggie. Mom and Dad want to make sure you know how proud they are of you and that they love you and your big heart. Now, today's quiz. A new millipede species has been named after what famous singer? Taylor Swift. What major international tournament just banned athletes from Russia and Belarus? Wimbledon. An 11 year old refugee from Ukraine received what kind of toys from people all over the world? Legos. Teams from how many countries are competing in the World Cheerleading Championships this week?
more than 50. In our Kid News Kicker, Queen Elizabeth is celebrating her birthday today. She was born on April 21st, 1926, so she's 96 years old. But every year, the Queen actually marks her birthday twice. Once on her actual birthday, which is a low-key family affair, then in mid-June, there's a large, fancy public celebration. It's been the tradition to celebrate the monarch's birthday that month since 1748, when King George II wanted to increase the odds of nicer weather for outdoor festivities. Before we go, a big thank you again to the Crum Fam family of Washington, D.C. for sponsoring today's quiz. Happy birthday to Maggie, and a Kid News hello to her teachers, Miss Peyton and Mrs. Barry at Lafayette Elementary School in our nation's capital. We also have some other awesome teachers and classrooms to recognize, including Mrs. Bassett at the Warden Hutterian School in Warden, Washington, Miss Morellis and her amazing class who love Kid News at Cesar E. Chavez Elementary in Harlier, California, Mrs. L at East Vincent Elementary in Spring City, Pennsylvania. Mrs. Gilbert, homeschooling in Melcher, Dallas, Iowa, and Mr. K at Maryville Prep School, where Maryville Technology rocks in Lutherville, Maryland. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We hope you tune in for more Kid News tomorrow morning. 